Hey everybody, it's the boss lady here, limping <laughs> uh, on my way to my parents' house. Um, went to Walmart yesterday. I'm hoping to bring y'all Walmart haul. Um, went to Walmart and I got this cute little dress. Let's see if you can see it. I don't know if you can see it. But anyway, yeah, I got this cute little dress. It was regular price $14.97 and I got it for $7. So... I'm planning to um, hopefully go back to another Walmart. But, um, yeah, I'm getting ready to go down to my parents' house. It's Father's Day, so happy Father's Day to those who um, are fathers. And not to the mothers who are single mothers, to the fathers who take care of their children. Give me one second to get in my car. It's going to take me a minute here. But anyway, um, yeah, I want to say happy Father's Day to the fathers. The ones who are holding it down. And, uh... Whoa! Whoa! Jesus! Whoa! Mm. Lord help! Ooh, that hurt. Let me put y'all up on the mount. There you go. Oh. I gotta get down the street, because... <laughs> Mama forgot to get her Father's Day card for Dad. Lord, my uh, neighbor is outside in his robe, y'all. That's when you know you live in a decent neighborhood. When you can come outside in your robe. Uh, but anyway. Um, Mama didn't go and get her Father's Day card for Dad. So, I had to pick it up when I got his card myself. So, I got to take that down to her. So, she can get that to him. And then um, also give him his gift. So, <sighs> and I told her, give me about 10 minutes. Well, you know, my 10 minutes now is like 20 minutes because, you know, I can't just jump in clothes. I got to, you know, strategically sit on the toilet <laughs> with this leg. Y'all see how I was basically falling into the truck trying to get up in here. So, you know, so she don't text me twice. I got to get down the street. Um... I'm still rocking my little side ponytail. I did, I, I bend, I bent my thinking. I did put some gel around the edges today because I just can't deal with that fuzziness. And um, I don't know, for whatever reason, I'm just not ready to throw a girlfriend back on. Um, I'm really ready to get back into my braids. So that'd be that. But um, ooh, I don't have my, I don't have my, uh, what do you call it? No chapstick in the car. So, shoot. And I gotta fix this nail. This nail is bending up and it's driving me. There we go. I have to glue it. And I knew I had glue in the car. I'm getting ready to take my artificials off, my acrylics off. And I think I'm gonna go back into my um, just glue ones for a little bit. Not because I don't have the money, because, you know, girlfriend gets paid every two weeks. Hallelujah. But, um, I'm kind of getting back to the, I want to switch it up, you know. And so, when I have on my glue ones, you know, the price that I pay for one fill or one full set, I can have me several different styles. And I'm trying to think. I was watching somebody's video this morning, and they were at, where were they? Were they at Five Below? They might have been at Five Below. And they were showing some nails. And I was like, oh, that's cute. Oh, that's cute. And I was thinking, well, I could just have them do that at the at the shop. But the shop that I like to go to, I found a new shop. Um, courtesy to my boss. <laughs> yes. And um, sometimes it's good to have a young boss. My boss is like my daughter's age. But anyway, um, she hit me to this shop and the shop is beautiful and i really wanted to like record one you know one time when i go but like i said i'm, I'm contemplating on you know taking these off and whatever so because I, I seriously need to feel like seriously um but anyway she was she hit me to the shop and the shop is beautiful and i was gonna record there but they nickel and dime you like nobody's business and i felt really bad because i told my mom about the shop and how it was so nice or whatever and my mom was not happy, but my mom, she wanted like all this extra stuff and it was $3 for this and $5 for that. And you know, so like I said, they nickel and dime you. And, um, 
I think my mom ended up spending like 60 bucks and that's a stretch, you know, for a retiree. So, I, you know, I get it. Um, I, Cause I think I spent like 50, 55 when I went and all I got was just color tips, you know, but I had some nails replaced too. So anyway, that being said, I did finally put some little earrings on, but I feel like I need some bigger earrings and I don't know what I did with my little hoops. So, ciao, yeah. But let me, um, let me put a pin in y'all. Let me run up in here and say hey to my mom and dad. This will be my first time, this will be my dad's first time seeing me with the brace. He knows about the brace. He knows about the injury. He knows about the MRI and all the test results. But the last time I saw dad, I actually only, um... I actually only, like, waved and said, hey, from, like, where I'm sitting to the backyard, which is, like, you know, yards and yards away. So, he didn't see me, hasn't seen me outside of that since I've been back. So, this will be his first time, and I don't know how he's going to react. So, I'm not going to take the camera in because, you know, this is my mommy, daughter, daddy, daughter time. So, I'll be back, y'all. Hey, y'all, I'm back. So, whew. I was at mom and dad's house mm, almost an hour. Now I gotta go home and get Miss Peanut ready for church. I'm thinking about stopping by the store though. But I know if I go to the store and because I'm limping and moving slow, then I'll have to come home and try to rush her so we can get to church because we need to get to church early. Um, it is the annual get the church paperwork filled out for school. So, um, yeah, real quick, because it's going to be just a little Sunday morning vlog, but I didn't tell you guys we were having some issues with the school. I don't think I did. I might have touched on a few things. Well, anyway, long story short, um, you know, there was a lot of stuff that went on with the bullying and being harassed and whatever. Well, then boss lady used her boss-ness, okay? and snapped didn't want to snap wasn't trying to snap don't want to be that type of parent but when you get frustrated to the point of no return when you get to a point where it's like you know what i have been nice i have talked to you in my michelle obama voice i have came to you with nothing but love respect kindness and you know the blood of jesus and i'm not getting nowhere then i have to go into that black bag and that black bag i call my ghetto purse okay so i had to not some i didn't cuss but i did use my authority voice authoritative voice well <laughs> the school uh didn't like it and questioned if this was a school for miss peanut because they had never been talked to in that fashion before and I said, let me tell you something. Let me explain something to you. Because at this point, it had been a couple weeks when I finally had the conversation. But I said, let me explain something to you. I have been through a lot when it comes to my daughter. I have... I'm the type of parent, I fight tooth and nail when it comes to my daughter. And I'm not going to allow some man, boy, girl, woman, school to hinder what I know to be true with my child. And I'm not going to allow someone to paint the picture as, oh, it's just her fault and that's just what it is. No, 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 no. So when I, when I came to them that way, then it was like, oh, backpedal, backpedal, because we don't want to seem like we're the school that's, you know, um, blaming the victim, you know what I'm saying? So anyway... So we had to have this long conversation. Now, mind you, I had this long conversation on my way back to Minnesota when I was coming from vacation, didn't know if my leg was broke, whatever, and I'm driving on the highway, <laughs> okay, uh, praying that I don't get no ticket because I think I might have started speeding at one point because I, you know, was saying this, saying that, you know, but I kept it, I kept it, you know, 100 with them. And I went back to my Michelle Obama voice and just said, hey, look, this is where I'm coming from. And you need to understand the frustrations that I am now at with, you know, the situation with my child. So anyway, um, everything 
at this point seems to be on the up and up. I haven't heard from the principal since then. I did email her um, after I had went to the hospital or doctor and all that stuff and said, you know, thank you for the conversation. I'm glad that, you know, we're able to have this conversation, this dialogue, blah, 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 blah. You know, I just wanted to kind of seal it with a kiss um, and move it along. So we got our award letter this week. Not this week. Uh, last week? We got our award letter last week. Yes, we got it last week because I didn't go to church. We got it almost two weeks ago because it, we would have went to church last Sunday. I would have had everything done, but because I was in so much pain, I didn't. Um, so we got like that Friday before or whatever. And um, so we have to get it done this week because the paperwork is due on the 20th and today is what, the 16th? So got to get all that stuff done. Um which I'm probably going to have boss man mail for me because I'm like, look, I don't have time to be limping to no post office. Uh, but um, so we got to get that paperwork done. We got our war letter. The war letter was stellar. Oh, my gosh. Uh, sometimes making less than what you was works in your favor because when I tell you the blessings just rained on down. Y'all, if I tell you how much her tuition is... You would be like, what? Girl, she's only in what grade? That's not even college. I know. Why is she at this school? Because she's going to get those good scholarships for college. Yes, ma'am. So anyway, <laughs> there's a method to the madness. I'm just telling you. So got that paperwork to be done today so we can get it turned in on time. And then... um. They've been sending other stuff. I got her report card. I got her award letter. Got her report card. I got her um, her GPA. It dropped just a little bit. You know, first and second quarter, she had a GPA of 3.0 or above. And then third third um, trimester, her GPA dropped to about 2. Point, was it 2.67? But that's still in the B range, so I'm not even tripping. She didn't drop to a, a C, so we're still good. Um... And what else? We just got her her summer reading log that I got took her to the library to get some books. Um, I got her math class assignment. So, you know, things is on the up and up working out in our favor, praise God. Um, we just oh, there is a squirrel. Child, there's a squirrel sitting in my patio chair. Or you know, my yard chair, not patio chair, but in my yard chair. Because Bossman always sits out in the yard and stuff. He watched them dog walkers like a hawk, y'all. And anybody else who want to walk through the neighborhood and act stupid. But anyway, yeah, you know, squirrels sit on top of the dag on yard chair. Like he was meant to sit there. But, um, so yeah, so that's what we got going on. And I have to go in there, get her ready after church. I think it's going to rain. It's cloudy. So I was going to try to, you know, throw a couple of two, three little things on the grill today. But, child, I'll be going to that young store picking up some because I'm not grilling in nobody's ring, especially with this foot, this, this not foot, this knee. Um, I need to go back to Walmart, but I need to go to the grocery store because Miss Peanut has camp this week at my job. And I have to pack her, you know, lunch and all that stuff. I need to make sure she has breakfast in the morning. And it's going to be a chore getting her up and ready and us to be downtown by 7.30. Checking is at 8. And I'm just like, look, I don't want to be late because two days this week, well, three days this week, I work at start work at 8.30. But two days this week, I have to start work at 8. So I cannot be late. And I have to make sure she's where she needs to be and, you know, so I can get to where I need to be because we just can't be late like that. You know what I'm saying? But, um, what else is going on? My hours are changing. I don't know if I told you guys that in my last vlog. Probably not. Because I just found out Friday. So, I don't know if I posted it. In... Anyway, my hours are changing. So, right now, I work 8.30 to 5.30. And I have an hour lunch. Um, because now we are fully staffed, my hours are 8.30 to 5 with a half hour lunch, which is fine. Um, I like the hour lunch because it gives me that time to just kind of break away. But I also like getting off work 30 minutes earlier too. Um, I will have a time later in the year where I have to do 10 hour days and we'll be working 7.30 to 6. But... 
I'm I'm here for it because during that time frame, you guys. Now, if you don't know, I'm gonna tell you right now. Okay, I'm looking at the camera. Y'all know how much I love Christmas. Y'all know how much I love to find my deals. Y'all also know I try to meet or exceed my last year's budget. Well, because I'm making less money this year, um, I was like, ooh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to execute my normal Christmas stuff, you know? But I, I will say this. I don't need to buy anything Christmas-related as far as decoration. If I do, it's because I truly, truly, truly either found a super deal or I want it. Um, but, you know, I got my Santa. I got my other tree. I got two trees. Oh, did I, do I got two trees? Did I get us an extra tree last year? I think I got my flock tree, didn't I? So I might be putting up the flock tree this year. But if I put up the flock tree, that means I have to put up lights on it. So I might be using the, the other new tree because it's already pre-lit. Yeah, so we might go with that. I might put the flock tree up in the um in the office because I'll be back upstairs and all that stuff, right? I haven't I haven't seen my office, y'all, in whoo, we coming up on a month pretty soon. Anyway, um, so I'll probably put the flock tree upstairs because then that'd be less for me to have to do, you know, and I could probably decorate that more geared towards me and boss man. Maybe that might be a me and boss man tree. Mm, I don't know. Let me pray on it. Let me think on it because I'm not sure just yet. But anyway. Because, you know, when I do my, my videos upstairs, I want to have my little Christmas stuff, you know. I'm not sure if I'm going to be... Okay, we won't go there. Anyway, so um, I don't plan to buy anything decoration-related unless it's just something that I have to have. But, you know, I want to make sure I have my budget set. I have my budget set for Christmas, but with me working those 10-hour days, you guys, those checks... Ooh, that overtime, baby. I'm be working 50 hours a week. 10 of those hours is time and a half. And I'm just, I'm just thinking about that money right now. Like, yep, that's going to be lovely. So, um, I can't wait. I can't wait. Um, right now we do have overtime every now and then. Like I could have got overtime Friday, but you know, I'm dealing with this knee. Ain't nobody got time for that. Um, if I ha absolutely have to stay, I will, but if I can leave, you know I'm out. So, um, so I do have later in the year, it's during the fall, so I just have to make sure to, you know, take that money and just, you know, set it to the side because that is my Christmas money. And I normally start my shop, well, I shop throughout the year, but I do my major shopping during that time frame when that money rolls in, so... Because then that doesn't take away from the regular money. You know what I'm saying? That overtime will be nothing but Christmas money completely. So I'm excited about that. Um, not so excited about the 10-hour days. But one thing I do know when I'm working all that overtime, they feed us breakfast. They feed us lunch. You might as well say like an afternoon snack, you know, because basically they're keeping us engaged and doing what we need to do. And I'm I'm here for it. I'm like so excited. So um, I know it's going to be a lot on the family. And I've been talking with my extended family on how to execute this because this is going to be a big shock to the family. For two whole weeks, mommy's going to be, you know, mommy wife is going to be at work for 10 hours, you know. We might say like 10 and a half because I have to, you know drive and all that stuff but anyway prayerfully it's not snowing during that time because that would suck <laughs> i'm just saying but um so i've been looking at air fryers i've been looking at pressure cookers i've been looking at i actually been looking at getting a different um what's the thing what's the thing i got in the kitchen um crock pot i've had my crock pot ever since i was pregnant with miss peanut though so that's kind of a sentimental value but it's also red and y'all know my kitchen is not red my kitchen is orange and you know i'm trying to slowly but surely turn my appliances you know even if it's just a small appliances who is that we ordered some from amazon that's amazon Child, let me go. I need to see what that package is, baby. Because I don't remember ordering anything. 
Did I? Huh. Yeah, I'm going to see about that. Put my card up here. What is this one? Oh, this is my Mother's Day card from my parents. Isn't it pretty? It's so pretty. Um, and I opened it in the car because mom and dad were out of town. And so mom mailed it to my house. I got it for Mother's Day. And I was like, oh. And so I just, um, I kept it in the car. I thought it was so pretty. And then this, oh, this is my parking ticket thing from the resort. I kept it because there's a coupon on there. It says stay and play free $20 resort credit on your future stay. So I'm keeping it because, you know, we're going back. But anyway, so this card here um, is from mom and dad. Today, it's my thank you card for when, you know, my grandmother passed away and, uh, you know, and all the help and stuff I did. And mom and dad just felt the need to thank me. So, you know, I appreciate it. Let me put my parking thing over here because boss may have me putting it on the other side. And I don't like that because then I'll forget. And, you know, can't nobody be forgetting now because you can't be getting that $200 handicap ticket so let me put that back up here so i know i always keep it out just a little bit so i can see the handicap piece so when i park i remember to look up but anyway it's now what time is it oh it's 9 32 oh somebody got a big package down the street mm. go see what that amazon package is because i'm not the one who orders from amazon so i'm like what, what was that so yeah i'm gonna go see what that was unless that's the post office um because that wasn't a prime truck. And he's got on shorts and a tank top. I know there are some um, some regular mail stuff that comes on Sundays now, too, in our area. But he had a package in his hand, so I want to see what that was. So, But this is a quick vlog, y'all, to say, hey, how y'all doing? Whatever. Happy Father's Day again to all the fathers, you know, past and present. You know, I am missing my birth father, but I can clearly, honestly tell you, I won't complain. I, I have had no tears this morning. Um, father's Day has always been kind of weird when it comes to my father. I know, I think my first year Father's Day on YouTube was kind of bittersweet. But, you know, I always try to go see my dad before he go to church and stuff. I bought him a... um. I bought him the T.D. Jakes book, The Soar. Uh, I heard a lot of good things about it, and I follow T.D. Jakes on Instagram, and so, you know, there was a lot of publicity about his book, and so I just bought that for my dad, because my dad loves to read, and um, I didn't know what to get him this year, so I, I just, just, I don't know, but um, normally I take him out to eat, and I didn't do that this year, because, you know, I'm limping, and I was so busy yesterday, so I didn't have the time to, you know, be like, oh, I'm gonna take my dad out, and then Friday, I was so tired from work, so... I just bought him a book and got him a card, but I will take him out at a later date. Matter of fact, um, I'm probably going to take him and mom out. So it'll be a, like a late Father's Day takeout to eat and then probably an early anniversary gift because their anniversary is the 4th of July. And the 4th of July this year, I'm off, but I'm going to be spending it with my in-laws um, because we're having a quote-unquote family reunion, so to speak, I guess. Um, which is fine, because Miss Peanut needs to, you know, meet some of her cousins that she don't know, so it seems like we only meet during funerals. But anyway, um, so I'm going to probably take them out maybe the weekend before their anniversary just to, you know, love on them and stuff. Because um, I'm hoping that they go away for the weekend, for, for the 4th. Just, you know, even if they just go and get them a hotel up north or, you know, or, or further south from us. They like to go to a place called Rochester, Minnesota. So, you know, I'm hoping they just go and get them a room and just go and, you know, do what grown folks do. I don't know. I don't know what that is, but I'm just saying, <laughs> you know, go and just spend time husband and wife. You know, go out to dinner or something, so. But anyway, um, so yeah, so I'll probably do that at a later date after I get paid again and, you know, see how bills is paid and whatever. But let me get in here because, y'all, it is 936 and I'm trying to be on this road by 10 o'clock because I got to go and get these papers done. And I prefer to get the papers done before church than after church because after church would be kind of crazy. But have a great day. Happy Father's Day again. All the fathers, the uncles, the grandfathers, the cousins, you know, father figures who step in. 
I don't really like to say the word stepfather because I don't look to my husband as a stepfather. I don't look to my dad as a stepfather. They are dads, and that's just what they are. So, <sighs> happy Father's Day to my father in heaven. And, yeah, I'll see y'all in a new video. I'm hoping to bring y'all a haul soon. Okay, bye, guys.